first you have to go back and... As my Uncle Busby always says, music makes the wheels go round. Click a button on this jukebox. There are some familiar artists to choose from, so let's get this bus humming. Introducing the E for Excellence Experiment Machine. Click on the arrows to make your selection, then click the Go button. There's no doubt about it. Insects are frequent flyers. How do they do it? They've got the right wings, the right body, and the right wing speed to get them going. Your job is to pick the perfect combination to get this bug off the ground. Just click on the wing speed, wing type, and body you want to try, and then click on the throttle. Congratulations! That bumblebee has everything it needs to fly like a pro. The flight of this bee may not last very long. How about trying different wings? The flight of this bee may... The flight of this bee. This little bee got off the ground, but it may be headed for a crash landing. Moth takeoff completed, but it looks like it's going to be a pretty rough. Aha! I'm getting a bit dizzy watching this one try to fly. The flight of this bee may not last very long. Here's the chance you've been waiting for to try your hand at building your very own bug. Go ahead and select a body, some legs and some wings if you want them. Then click on the lever to see your creation. There's no telling what you may come up with. So I feel. But is it real? I have to admit, that one really bugs me. Ever wonder who would get trounced if you put a fierce yellow jacket and a tough ambush bug together? Well, here's your chance to pair off some bugs and animals and see who comes out on top. To choose your contenders, click each box until you find the two you want. Then, click on the bell and watch them come out swinging and stinging. That ambush bug's great camouflage wins this one. That yellow jacket didn't even see it. Our Giope's web is strong, and the spider quickly wraps up its prey. That yellow jacket sting is too much for a tiny hyperactive shrew. Yellow jackets only bother isle moths when they're caterpillar kids. Yellow jackets aren't interested in the adults. The yellow jacket sting is no match for the bombardier spray. That bird food has too much bite. A bird once stung never eats a wasp again. After one taste, that bird becomes shrewd enough never to taste a shrew again. This shrewd shrew eats bugs and spiders too.
fireflies use light to signal each other. Each species has its own language of love. But the males and females don't always say the same thing. If just the right signals are made, the two fireflies will live happily ever after. But if signals are crossed, they'll either go their separate ways or the would-be groom becomes a meal. Your job is to find the different patterns that go together. Click on the male and female to choose a light pattern for each. Then flip the switch to see what happens. Oh, well, it looks like these two don't speak the same language. Their light patterns don't attract each other at all. Well, it looks like these two don't speak the same language. Their light patterns don't attract each other at all. <laughs> that female firefly really fools that lovesick male. Looks like this was his last performance. What a happy couple! These two are the same species and their light patterns are the perfect mix. You've got a real future as a matchmaker. to the game machine where you can add games you collect out in the wild. You can come here whenever you like and play your As I always say, there's only one way to get the inside scoop on being a bug, and that's to become one. Just click on the arrows to pick a kid and an insect to morph together. Then click the button and watch what happens. Click a place where insects roam. We'll visit them at their home. Meet you at the meadow. Take it away, bot. I love to skip through the meadow with the wind in my hair. We're almost there. I'm so glad you've chosen to visit the magnificent meadow with its multitude of meandering bugs. Oh where, oh where could that little bug be? There are four bugs to find that are missing from their terrariums. A tisket, a tasket, this insect has a basket. It hovers and flies on wings so wide, over the ground you will see it glide. These big flies guard their territory like a dragon in a bedtime story. Like my old coach always said, let's take it outside. That Potter wasp nest looks like a clay pot. On target observation, Dorothy Ann, the Potter wasp is also called the mud dauber because it builds its nest by dabbing mud, just a little at a time. Everybody likes ladybugs, except the aphids and other garden pests that they eat. 